Good morning and welcome to the GHS Reporter. Today is Thursday, October 4th, and I'm Sam Doherty. The White House has received the FBI report on sexual misconduct allegations regarding Brett Kavanaugh, President Trump's Supreme Court nominee. According to CNBC, the White House is said to be fully confident that the U.S. Senate will approve Kavanaugh's nomination after Republicans were given access to review the report last night. Republican Majority Leader Mitch McConnell has created a process that schedules a procedural vote on Friday, with the final vote coming as early as Saturday. Seven officers have been shot, one fatally, in a Florence, South Carolina neighborhood. According to ABC News, 52-year-old Terrence Canterway was killed in the shooting. It was dead on arrival at the hospital. Florence City Council Member Al Allen said Carraway was a great officer and a super person that always thought of others. City officials have asked residents to keep out until the situation is cleared. A powerful storm is moving through the southwest this morning, which is dropping significant rainfall as a different storm is dumping the season's first snowfall on the Cascade Mountains. According to ABC News, these two storms are on a collision course over the Midwest. Well, they'll be likely to bring heavy rain and thunderstorms. As the storm moves east and south, it will spread heavy rain this weekend from Texas to New York. The homecoming dance is Saturday, October 6th from 7 to 10. The tickets will be sold at the school store for $5 and $10 at the door. And juniors, we're giving away four free prom tickets, so be there to win them. Bring your school ID and have fun. Yay! There will be a go home early drill tomorrow. When the spirit rally ends at 2 8 p.m., the administrators will assist evacuation from the West Gym. If you are riding the bus home, walk directly to the space where your bus usually is. If you drive or are getting a ride, you should walk directly to your vehicle and leave. If you have an athletic practice after school tomorrow, your coach should already have informed you where to go and you should report there immediately. All students and staff will not be allowed to re-enter the building until the last bus has left the lot. Remember, you are not allowed to go to your locker when you evacuate the building. So please make sure you have your belongings with you when you arrive at the Spirit Rally. That's all for the GHS Reporter today. Remember to find today's announcements online and on Twitter at GHS Announcement. I'm Sam Doherty. Today's a C-Day. Have a great day.